Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So, title update 1.5.0 was released today and we are gonna take a look of the new skills and couple more things. The first thing we are gonna take a look is of course gonna be the pickers in London and yeah, they are still in coma except when you are hitting near them or shooting near them then they are waking up and running so be gone. In this video I'm not gonna go through all of the points I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to stretch this video to be like 20-30 minutes long so we have to do part 2 sometime in this week so remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't miss that. That being said to the main point so we are seeing 4 new ability spots plays with the black dots, 2 for the range, 2 for the melee and we are having ton of new skill points and the first thing we are gonna take a look is riposte or repost for this skill with your offhand free hitting on enemy immediately after a parry deals critical damage and i'm gonna demonstrate how that is gonna work the second major skill from the raven brands single hand versatility within seconds of ability ending and with your offhand free using a narrow ability from the opposite ability wheel will not cost any adrenaline. We are gonna go through every major skill point or skill in this video. Let's do it branch by branch. Also yes, I will go through one handed and two handed weapons. We are starting with two handed axe aka the Dane axe and let's see if Riposte is working with two handers. So parry, hit, that is white number, 95, let's try it a couple more times, so parry, okay that was a critical hit, might be just a lucky shot, so let's try again when the enemies decide eventually to hit us, of course. Here we go, 108 white damage, so it was not critical damage, even though our critical hit was making less damage than the regular hits. So seems like the two handed weapons are not counting for this one. We need the offhand free and yeah, basically the two hander is taking both hands. Again Ubisoft, wording, 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 so make the description much easier to understand. Offhand instead maybe word it like using one-handed weapons as we can see here the one-handed sword is doing critical damage after every parry it is time to move on from repost to our next skill single hand versatility within seconds of on ability ending and with your offhand free using another ability from the opposite ability wheel will not cost any adrenaline. I just did the dive of the Valkyrie and now I'm using Thorn of Slumber and no adrenaline cost from the second ability. The first one was melee and switching to ranged abilities. Yeah, I am gonna use that one a lot, trust me. Moving on to the single hand defense when at full health and offhand free. The first attack from the enemy deals no damage and knock them back. So let's see how that looks. Also we are gonna test from the bear brands heal on kill, killing on enemy restores some health if you are at low health and you have no rations. So that is pretty simple and let's take a look. No damage, the enemy went flying back. So it is time for me to lower my health and the first try I failed epically. On the other hand, the second try was much better so we have no rations and our health is really low. So let's take a look, let's kill both of them accidentally on the same hit.
and boom. That was pretty huge amount for one or two kills. And definitely on the hard situation, that will be a lifesaver. For now, hit the like if you have liked the video on the last brands, so the wolf skills plus couple bonus things from this update are coming up. It is time for the wolf brands, and no, that was not the skill, but this is. So combat dive, you're immune to all damage while performing a roll. And the last skill from this update, gunning shot. Performing on air one that converted to your focus shot with any kind of bow will award some adrenaline. Meaning that doesn't matter if you are using light bows, predator bows or hunter bows. For me personally, I am big fan of the hunter bows. Already doing this only once, now twice, we filled up two whole adrenaline slots. Three and counting. That is so much faster than assassinating anything or anybody. Yeah, I'm really, really liking this one. My absolutely favorite skills from this update is definitely this one and the one that knocks enemies back. These are really <laughs> something else. Imagine this skill combined with the boat arrow trick when you are in control of your longship and you are shooting arrows to the shoreline and collecting them. <laughs> Mind blown. This is just amazing. Even the regular farm animals are giving you like 50% of your slots. Now to the dive roll and this was really hard when trying actually take damage. Of course we are gonna take little damage while doing this but most of the time you can see we don't take any damage there are those soldiers with the flails, goliath, spearman and the dog. Mostly no damage or no damage at all when doing the roll. Alrighty then, moving on to the bonus stuff. Before the update I was having like 16 of the Valkyrie cloaks on top of the original one that was fully upgraded and now I can't find the original one anywhere. It was fully upgraded, it had all the runes and now nothing so I'm not gonna even bother. I cannot upgrade any of the cloaks, they will stay at level 2 or 3. What can I say? This sucks. If you have been watching this channel a little bit longer, you might already know what's coming up next. The gear, that is a huge hint. Of course, we are gonna do the Dive of the Valkyrie with the Night Rogue set. The wings, they seem to be still working, but wait for it. Wait for it. No, they don't. That was actually kind of fixed. So when you are in the water, they will stay on. After getting on the shore, on the dry land, boom, they are gone. Before anybody asks, no, this didn't transform into the night issue set. More things from this update coming up in the near future. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like. Hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.